it's an absolute pleasure to host one of the most distinguished and prominent legal personalities in the country at the time um one of like one of the most uh, expert in constitutional law and privacy law and human rights he's none other than justice b n shri krishna thank you sir for being with us you. your whole life has been an insp inspiration for all of us for young lawyers or to be lawyers like me and uh, talking about your life sir you started as a litigating lawyer yes and then judge and then heading several of the committees yes so sir i would start by asking which of the fields do you like the most out of the three out of the three phases of your life so i liked each one of them i thoroughly enjoyed each one of these phases of my life as a law lawyer as a judge of the bombay court as chief justice of kerala and as a judge of the supreme court and post retirement arbitral work and Correct. committee hearings each one of them i thoroughly enjoyed okay sir so um so your committee's report on uh, in the data protection act Uh, I think in 2018 it was published, and uh, the common perception is that the DPDP Act is based on your committee's report, and it's kind of similar. But uh, as you also mentioned, that it's uh, not very similar, and there are somewhat uh, major distinctions between the two. Mm -hmm. Can you highlight that uh, point? Because there are several uh, uh, distinctions and disturbing qualities about the new Act. Yes, sir. One is the government has been given too much dominance. Mm. Uh, government has been their provision is there in the act that the government and all its bodies can be exempted from all or any section of the act, which is a dangerous thing. So, and there is also the provision for exemption to various other uh, for other reasons like uh, anything in the interest of sovereignty, in the interest of international relations, etc., which are vague declarations and very difficult to identify in practice. and finally the uh, board which is to be set up the data protection board correct is complete uh, stooge of the government i would say everybody is uh, nominated by the government what they do i don't know they can't understand because the law doesn't lay out even the qualifications and conditions of service of the type of person that you have the personnel the members the chairman everything is left to the vagaries of the executive who will issue rules and then make it uh, come true I don't know how it's going to work. I have to see it working in practice. Correct, sir. So there are many discrepancies in the act. Uh, so do you think it can be amended to be, make it a bit more? I think narrow so that there can be specific. It cannot be bit amended. It has to be amended drastically in order to bring it back to life, according to me. I don't know whether there's enough uh, will power to do that. Correct, sir. Uh, so also. an important aspect is in in judiciary itself is the importance of dissent i think uh, dissenting judgments so as uh, as the article 370 judgment and the interpretation of article 356 in the judgment was taken by a literal approach rather than a purposive and an interpretive one so uh, what do you think about that sir, and the importance of dissent because there was no dissenting opinion in the judgment sir in judgment in any case the judgment has been severely criticized on various grounds in the fundamental thing is the manner in which the uh, the one of the reasons is that the president could have passed this order by exercising powers under 372 yes by uh, taking the consent of the constituent assembly the constituent assembly came to an end on a particular date it succeeded by the the jammu and kashmir assembly state assembly then the central government dismissed that state assembly put its own representative as the administrator in charge of the entire jnk and his consent has been obtained and it is treated as if the people of jnk have some true so that's a, you are right if the purposive interpretation had been given yes, to the constitution sir. this would not have happened but well, that's the judgment of the supreme court <laughs> correct sir uh and also an important aspect is uh, the ucc that has been implemented yes. in uttarakhand yes. uh what do you think about that sir oh that will really lead us into all kinds of problems that is why the states are saying we are not even going to implement it <laughs> so, and in a country which has multifarious languages multifarious religious identities 
this UCC is going to be impossible. It's like one size fits all. One size can Correct. never fit all. Correct, sir. And particularly in a country like India, it's going to lead us the path of disaster. Correct, sir. So, so one law for the majority will leave some minorities and some communities apart. Yeah, that's that's going to create more problems than it solved. Okay, true. So the last but not the least thing, uh, you uh, often mention the CCC. Uh, the CCC program mm. that mm. the young lawyers should mm. follow. Mm. Can you please elaborate on that, sir? The three C's are one is the answerability or responsibility towards the client. That one C. Yes. Second C is to the court. Mm. You are answerable to the court because you are an officer of the court yes. as a lawyer, as an advocate. Third one is over and above all, you are answerable to your conscience. Mm. No lawyer can say I will act it beyond my conscience. So these are the three Sikhs which have been emphasized as the uh, guiding principles for an aspiring lawyer, and all of you should keep that in mind. Yes, sir. So and then uh, last final advice for the all young lawyers sitting there, apart from the CCC. Uh, study, study hard, and be true to your conscience. That is most important. And look at the lives of great people who have been recognized by society as great, not because they had uh, money power or uh, political power, True. but as individuals who are... Now, Andi, Mahatma Gandhi was, did not have a big bank balance. So everybody, the whole world recognizes him. So similarly, you identify what is their good qualities. Try to learn lessons from them, adapt whatever you can in your life. Even if you adopt 10% of the good qualities of a great man, you will be a great man yourself. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure listening you. to you. It was a pleasure interacting with all of you kids. Thank you, sir. God bless you all. May we turn out to be good students, good lawyers, good judges. Also. All the blessings, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.